So welcome to this lovely edition of Readout Productions Tour Battlefield, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Jim here, also known actually as Brooke, he's going to show us a old block house which is now preserved here in a nature reserve near St. Vincent College. For the record, he has no idea where he's going, but... I, I don't even know if the block house is the original, I'm, I'm not certain. So, we're going to try, you know, not get attacked by snakes. We're going to walk over rocks without tripping. Where's the Lock Creek Block House? Uh, we're currently outside of Saigon, as you can see. The, um, we have, they haven't dropped enough Agent Orange on this area enough to clear it up. I thought we were looking into the uh, American Revolution, Brook. <laughs> Turkey vulture. See that hawk? See it? <laughs> we're completely lost. So we've at last located Lockery's block house after hiking forever. Thanks, bruh. He's nodding. He's, he's so happy that I am now sweating in Daphne's jeans. Anyways, be all serious. This. Here's the lock house behind us here. Now, Lockery's block house was established in 1780 in the latter days of the American Revolution. Up until about 1777, most of the western frontier was relatively quiet as the major battles occurred between the British and the Patriots on the eastern front. By 1777, however, native re uh, relations between the colonists and the natives fell apart. Several native tribes aligned with the British and started harassing the settlers out here on the frontier, thus opening the often forgotten western front of the American Revolution. Now, most of the soldiers were out east, meaning there was very few militiamen out here to defend the frontier. As such, several block houses would be established all across the area. It was not uncommon to find a house every so many miles that would be fortified, had a magazine of gunpowder. In this particular case, this building was built with the specific purposes of being a block house to supply guns and ammunition for the residents of what at the time was Westmoreland County. Well, it still is today, but Westmoreland was way bigger back then than it is today. It was established in 1780, very heavily equipped of art uh, well, I was to say artillery there for a minute. We don't want to say artillery. It was very heavily equipped with, various, uh, with ammunition for smoothbore muskets, rifles, whatever the frontier need out here. Now, there was a bit of a problem as in they kept demanding more and more ammunition be stored here, and the American government at this point was strapped thin of supplies. The war is ending, but it, it's in a limbo stage by 1781. Yes, the Americans went at Yorktown, but there's still another couple years of fighting. Most of it's going to be frontier, and are in this limbo stage waiting for the surrenders to get done and everything. So the government keeps telling everybody out here in Westmore County, we can't give you any more ammunition. Can't you use ammunition wisely? What ends up happening is the militiamen of Westmoreland under command of Lockery are going to leave here in 1781 to go on a mission out into the Northwest Territory. In Aurora, Indiana, Lockery's 100 Westmoreland men will be surrounded and massacred by native forces aligned with the British. The Lockery Blockhouse was used till the end of the war. Shortly thereafter, it became a private residence. It was various residencies until about the 1920s when the records pertaining to the uh, lineage of the structure was lost. It was built over, heavily expanded. Right now where we stand would have been a bit of a residential area for about 50, 60 years. And then in 1999, uh, original records were uncovered. They tore down uh, the modern facade and found the skeletal log structure that was the original block house. From what I've gathered, the second floor of the block house today is restored. The first floor is original remains of the block house that was here in 1780. Originally, they were going to actually move it off site into Lake Trobe, Pennsylvania, which is just over the hill over there. However, they decided to turn the 20 acres surrounding the Lockery Block House into a nature reserve, preserving its terror ground to something similar as what the wilderness of western Pennsylvania would have looked like in the 1780s. If you want to visit the Lockery Block House, it's just off of uh, Route 981, which is literally right over there. You might have been hearing it in the video. Just pull off side, see the sign for the nature reserve. There's a parking lot near a red barn that acts as a visitor center and normal operating hours. There are multiple trails that spiral out throughout the 20 acre reservation. This trail we're on leads right here to the Lockery Blockhouse. It is also used by St. Vincent College for some of their science outdoor labs. Thank you guys for watching this video on Readout Productions. If you want to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. 
you want to see more videos, uh, some suggestions I can make, uh, we did a video on Bullets Defeat, which occurred near Ligonier, Pennsylvania. There's also a tour of Braddock's Battlefield, which is now this town of Braddock, Pennsylvania, done by Fort Ligonier and Braddock History Center tour guide, Matt Galt. You're more than willing to check that out. We also do videos on construction paper Battlefield, which are stop motion animated battle maps of key engagements in military history. And I do a bunch of other random stuff with movies and everything. So thank you for watching. We'll be seeing you in the next video. The Riftwood Cocktails. Oliver!